Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today I'll be showing y'all how I make venison empanadas, or venison hand pies, or venison pasties, or venison hot pockets. Whatever you call them, they're portable, the filling is customizable, and most importantly, this is the easy method. So let's get started. We're gonna start this one on the stove, heating a pan over medium heat. Add a dash of oil and then toss in a small diced onion and sweat it out for about three minutes until it's soft and clear. After the onion, add one pound of ground venison. I'm using 80-20 ground venison, so there's plenty of fat, but if you're working with 100% lean ground venison, I would suggest adding a few tablespoons of butter so it doesn't dry out while cooking. Also, the fat will help the meat stick together once we get to stuffing the dough later on in the recipe. Stir the meat occasionally and let it cook for about five minutes or until it's browned and nearly cooked all the way through. Now add two tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cayenne if you like a little heat, two teaspoons of cumin, four cloves of minced garlic, a healthy pinch or two of salt, and about a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Finally, I'm topping my deer meat off with the king of wild game seasonings, musket powder red label. If you don't have it handy, don't freak out, but this seasoning really is a wonder with deer meat, so make sure to check them out. While we're stirring all the spices into the meat, it's a good time to say that you can customize this filling a number of ways. This is just my go-to method for making venison taco meat, and it works really, really well as empanada filling. But if you wanna add an ingredient or take out something, go for it. Just let me know in the comments below what you end up doing with it and how you liked it. Once your spices are well incorporated, give it a quick taste and if everything seems right, remove the pan from your heat source and let everything cool down so you can handle it without burning your fingers. Also, this is a good time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare a baking sheet with either a baking mat, parchment paper, or whatever your go-to non-stick prep is for baking. Now let's talk about dough. Like I said, this is the easy method. So instead of building a dough from scratch, we're gonna be working with the easiest ready-made option, puff pastry dough. Depending on where you live, you may have access to frozen pre-cut empanada dough like this one from Goya, which is just puff pastry dough cut and packaged as specifically made for empanadas. But if you can't find that in your neck of the woods, you can just as easily buy a box of puff pastry and then use a water glass to cut out circles from the flat sheets they come in. Either way, make sure to work with the dough while it's still very cold. Once this dough warms up, it is impossible to work with. It gets all gummy, sticks to everything, it just turns into a huge headache. So if that starts happening to you, just stick it back in your fridge for a few minutes until it firms up again. Now to actually build these empanadas, place a spoonful of the deer meat and a pinch of shredded cheese into the center of your dough and just fold one side over onto the other. To then seal the dough, just take a fork and firmly press down along the outer edge until you've crimped the entire open edge closed. The first one will always be the ugliest and practice definitely makes perfect. Luckily for you, one pound of venison will yield somewhere between 10 to 20 empanadas depending on the size of your dough and how much meat you put in each one, so you'll get plenty of reps in. Once all your pockets are stuffed and pinched, whisk a single egg and then use a basting brush to paint the outside of the dough with that egg wash. Now just pop them in that preheated 400 degree oven and let them bake somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Keep a close eye on them and take them out once they've puffed up and are crispy and brown. And just like that, you're done. These little pockets of heaven are one of my favorite party plates. You can pile them high, they're easy to carry around and eat on the go, and they are perfect for dipping into salsas and other sauces. That'll do it for this one, and thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any follow-up questions. Also, if you end up making them, please feel free to share your tips, tricks, and feedback so that others can learn from your experience. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more great content to come. All right, y'all, take care.